AgriPolicy Kit is a digital compendium of uh, agricultural policy instruments. This is an innovation in the sense that there isn't anything comparable out there today. So we are quite proud to say that AgriPolicy Kit is the first uh, digital compendium of agricultural policy instruments. Target group is politicians in, say for example, the agricultural ministry of one of our cooperation countries. In a very short amount of time you just get an overview of everything that's possible and then you can choose. Because politicians, they don't have time to go into the web and then look for import quota here and animal welfare instruments there. It's actually intended to to bridge the gap between policy and tension, for example, by a declaration such as Malabo, because we talked about megatrends this morning. For example, we want to promote food security, we want to promote youth employment. And the bridge between this political intent and the actual achievement on the ground uh, is bridged by this tool, because it's providing concrete instrument in order to achieve these political goals. Within SNRD, there's a group of senior policy advisors that uh, speak to each other, that advise each other, uh, that share experiences. And we've had fantastic feedback from them uh, on how they actually want to use the AgriPolicy Kit. Those senior policy advisors had the opportunity to click through the website and see whether it fits their purposes. So prior to the launch, we actually had, uh, we made a very big effort to actually include the, the target group and make it as convenient for their usage as possible. We had uh, slightly different ideas at the beginning and uh, through a quite long process this is what we arrived at. Maybe we should mention the site's name, it's www.agripolicykit.net. We are available in German, also in French and of course English. So once you've entered the homepage you have the possibility to access instruments via two different uh, ways. First, you can browse by policy dimension or development objective. Uh, for example, let's try that. You have different dimensions, for example, social issues, uh, environmental issues, market prices, health, etc. So let's try entering the regional planning in rural areas. Then you have the related policy objectives here, for example, uh, promotion of the non-farm rural economy. Um, and once you've clicked on the objective, you see the different instruments that might be uh, worthwhile looking at when you want to achieve this certain policy goal. So let's try entering the other way. It's searching for an instrument if you already have a concrete instrument in mind or whether you want to filter by certain attributes. If you already have an instrument in mind, for example an import ban or import quota, you can uh, just type that in here and you will directly uh, find your instrument. If you do not have a concrete instrument in mind, you can also filter, for example, if you are a national government and a budget is uh, nothing to worry about and you want to have a short-term impact because it's uh, shortly prior to the election and you want to do something in the area of decent work and economic growth, then the system already filters you the relevant instruments uh, out of the currently 140. You see 27 instruments here, for example, contract farming, uh, state contract farming, not a development corporation contract farming, um, direct payments. So let's look at the direct payments. We have coupled direct payments, decoupled direct payments. Uh, there's a short description of the instrument, the requirements that should be in place, for example, one important requirement would be property and land register. You can have a small foresight here. If you want to keep on reading, you just press more. If you want to continue on the previous instrument, you just go down here. And apart from description, requirement and potential negative effects, you can also see other objectives you can achieve with this instrument. For example, to ease entry into farming or to increase local market supply. The implementation level is not only national government which you selected but also the competent authority for example during the uh, payments uh, the required budget is very very high we know that from the european union for example the impact horizon is short uh, administrative complexity medium uh, in relative terms other ministries involved are of course the ministry of finance the ministry of environment also trade industry and development apart from agriculture 
there is a distorting trait effect but other relevant SDGs that can be targeted with this instrument are SDG 1, 2 and 10 apart from the 8 we already chosen. So you can also download the instruments and so you've seen everything already apart from the about page where you can find more information about the tool, who was involved and also how to use it and how to become a part of it. One of the challenges of course is to to outstand against the millions of other innovative websites there are out there in the web. So uh, I think today we, we've made a big step in this direction by winning the Innovation Award. <laughs> yes, winning the Innovation Award at the SNRD Africa conference is a huge honor for us. We have even been invited by the African Union to present a tool in the partnership, kind of partnership meeting in, uh, in Nairobi this year. So there is uh, interest of the partner and I think this is a very good sign for, for the relevance of our tool. Because surprisingly there is no, no similar offer mm -hmm. at the web till this moment.